All right, hello, brothers and sisters. Today is June 27th, 2023. And I had a, an extremely encouraging dream last night I want to share with you guys. And as always, I ask you to take everything to the Lord and pray for discernment, okay? Okay. So I had this dream last night. Woke me up. I've noticed the last couple of dreams that he's been giving me, the Lord's been giving me, he wakes me up right after. So I woke up last night after I had this dream. Went over it a couple of times so I wouldn't forget it. And then got up this morning was praying on it. And then I talked to my, my friend, Melissa, and we, uh, she agreed with, um, my thoughts on it. And I'll share those with you. I think, uh, I think probably a lot of you will, will understand this dream. Okay. So in the dream, I was in my, I believe I was in my childhood home. I was in, in our, my old bedroom and I was laying in bed and my husband was sitting in a chair next to my bed. And when I woke up, he had, uh, he was holding a, a crocheted item. I, I don't know if many of you are familiar with crochet. It's like knitting, only it's called crocheting. Um, and he had a crocheted item in his hand. I don't know what the item was. But he looked at me, and he was really happy. And he said, the last stitch has been put in. Will you tie it off? And I said, yeah, absolutely. So with the last, um, I took the, the, the piece of yarn that the last stitch, where the last stitch had been put in and I tied it off and then you know it was done that item was done and then he said uh would you go with me to see your mom I've been helping her and I said sure absolutely I'll go with you so then we're traveling uh to go see my mom and on the way he's telling me all these things he's been doing for her and I said wow I didn't know you were doing all this stuff I said uh why didn't I wish you would have told me that's really nice and and at this point when I looked at my husband it was now uh, uh, the face of a man I've never seen before. And it's hard to explain, but the way that he smiled at me, he gave me this smile that just melted my heart. And I knew in the dream that who I was talking to was the Lord Jesus. Okay. So he, um, he had packed up some food and some other items. We get to the place where we're to meet my mom and sitting on this piece of land was, it looked like a helicopter, but it was a glider, but it was in the shape of a helicopter. And Brian said, um, we are to take this and your mom will take the vehicle and we're going to take this. And I'm thinking to myself, well, gosh, you've never flown a helicopter. And I'm thinking, how does he even know how to do this? And then I'm like, well, you know, I'm, a, I'm afraid of heights. But I got in it. It was a two-seater. And once we got in it, you know, I wasn't afraid uh, of flying or anything. But it was at this point in the dream that I was made to know very clearly that my mom and my dad had been separated. They weren't divorced, but they were separated. And at this point, I was also made to know that my mom was ready to reconcile with my dad. So... My dad was made aware of this, that she was ready to reconcile. So he turned around to where he was going to come back. And I was specifically told that he was exactly one hour away. Okay. He was one hour away of coming back to reconcile with his wife. So after praying this morning, uh, many of you know dreams are symbolic. So Brian in this dream was the Lord Jesus. Now, in the context of this dream, I believe my mom was symbolic of Israel. And my father, of course, was God. By the context of this dream, I was made to remember, or to know, and I'm sure many of you guys know, that God made a covenant with Israel. But then Israel broke that covenant. And all through the Bible, it talks about the... Um, adultery that she has done we know that she didn't accept christ uh and later you know the gentiles were grafted in and we also know that the tribulation is where god is going to focus on israel and he will bring her back they will reconcile they will israel will be restored back to god this is uh one of the purposes of the tribulation okay so we all know this so that was very symbolic in this dream that my mom, Israel, was at a point where she's ready to reconcile with God. 
So God turned around and he was coming back and he was one hour away. We know that the one hour is the hour of trial, which is the seven year tribulation. The glider that I was in was symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Okay, it didn't have a motor. It wasn't anything man-made. Melissa pointed this out. But the glider was symbolic of the Holy Spirit. And Israel, or my mom, Israel, had taken the vehicle. We know that vehicles represent, they can represent our lives. It can represent our ministries. So she it was ready to start her ministry for the Lord. She took off. And when we got ready to take off, it was a little bumpy taking off. But eventually we got up. And then after I was up in this glider with the Lord, suddenly I was there by myself with just the Holy Spirit. And he was down on the ground. So I think many of you guys are probably understanding exactly what this is. We know that the Holy Spirit is not going to uh, uh, abandon those that are in the tribulation. The Holy Spirit will be here because we know that the tribulation is going to be the the one time in history that the most people are going to be saved. The, mo the most people ever saved is going to happen during the tribulation. Okay, so we know that the Holy Spirit will be here to help people, those that turn to Christ. And, um, but it's going to be extremely hard. So the crocheting part, what came to my mind immediately was a crochet is something that you weave together, kind of like something being grafted together. So my thought was the this is symbolic of the Gentiles being grafted in and the last stitch was put in and then he had asked me to tie it off. So to me, it sounds like the fullness of the Gentiles have come in or are about to come in. Okay. Cause it was the last stitch. So I'm hoping that you guys can see the symbolism of this dream and how amazing it is. And when I realized that this morning, my stomach just filled with butterflies. I was like, I told my husband, I was like, if this is, if I'm understanding this correctly, Oh my gosh, we, I mean, it could be any time, any, any minute now. And I believe, of course, the part where it was, it was bumpy when we took off is because the, um, the rapture is considered a rescue. We're going to be rescued at that last moment. So some things may be going on. And at that last minute, when you think, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to die or whatever. That's when we're going to be rescued because it was a bumpy start when we took off, but we did take off. So that's the dream that I had. I want to share with you guys. And again, I just ask you as always to please pray for discernment, take everything to the Lord. And uh, again, I just pray for you guys. I think it's amazing what the Lord has been showing many of us. And I was just extremely humbled and thankful for that message last night. So I, I pray that I explained it good and that you understand it. And those are my thoughts on it, that this is what the dream is talking about. And um, I hope I didn't forget anything. I think I covered pretty much everything that, that I, I needed to. So anyways... Like I said, within the context of the dream, sometimes my mother is symbolic of something else. But in this context of this dream, I knew it that she was the, uh, symbolic of Israel. So, like I said, they weren't divorced. They were just separated. But they were Israel was ready to reconcile. And with Jesus, that part where he says, I, I've been helping your mom, that's true. There's been hundreds of Jewish people that have been coming to the Lord within the last hundred years. And we know that Jesus is doing this. He's waking people up all over. Okay? And that's what he meant by that. I've been working with your mom. I've been working with Israel. I've been waking her up, getting her prepared, getting her ready. So, anyways, guys, I just I just pray that this encourages you. I love each and every one of you. And I just pray for you. And if I get anything else, I'll definitely be sharing it. But uh, my thinking is... is we are right on the edge of that rescue. So you guys have a great day. Bye.